हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ मुक्स ऑन कंप्यूटर विजन आई एम डॉक्टर विजय गायकवाड़ हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग विश्वकर्मा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे थ्रू दिस कोर्स यू विल लर्न फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर विजन कंप्यूटर विजन इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज चेंजिंग रैपिडली एंड इट इज लिटरली प्रोवाइडिंग सोल्यूशन टू एवरी सेक्टर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन दिस सेशन वी विल begin with why computer vision system is required and how it is associated with human vision system so in this picture you will see a it's a still from the movie terminator and the story revolves around how a machine saves a human life it is all a machine which executes multiple algorithms to do some control actions so basically every picture tells us a story and the goal of computer vision system is to write computer programs that can interpret the images importantly when images are taken into account more and more information can be retrieved from it which can be used to take some control action to carry out any task as compared to text or any other data as compared to images or videos so the question is can computers match or beat human visions answers can be yes and no but most no the reason humans are much better at hard things while computers can be better at easy things humans will do many difficult tasks with easiness but computers will find some difficulty although that is a truth but still computer vision systems will do wonders in many situations there are certain limitations of human vision system as you can see this is a image where you can find some circles and they are animated and you will find they are rotating with some pace in reality there is no animation and there are no rotating circle it is a still image but because of eye perception you will find that the circles are rotating in this slide you will find a rectangle and over here you will find there are many objects so especially in the first triangle it is said that it is impossible to build because every edge of this triangle is 90 degree to one another on the other side if you find this objects on the top right side it's a structure with some staircases and let us find out the highest point in this structure so we start climbing from this slide we move to the up but at this point we find that still we can go up and in this way at every side if you roll over you will unable to find out the highest point so it's a limitation of human vision system that there are some artificial images which are difficult to analyze by human vision system at the bottom you will find it's a cube and there are two there are two sides which are shown in this image the upper side is typically gray in color and the lower side is typically bright and white in color so can both sides are having same intensity or of having different intensity if we see from our eye it is observed that two sides are of different intensities they are of different color but in reality they are of the same intensity they are of the same color only because of the light reflections and because of eye perceptions the upper one and lower one they are seems to be different but in reality they are same there is one piece of intensity from the upper cube from the upper side if you roll over over here you will find that both upper and lower both sides of the cube they are of the same intensities it is a limitation of human vision system to accurately identify a color or intensity so as you can see if the side bar is swapped and moved on the cube the upper and lower side of the cube they seems and they are of the same intensities but there are certain things that human vision system can do amazingly like it can recognize the people and objects very easily we can navigate through obstacles with easiness we can understand the mood in the scenes very easily 
and we can imagine the stories even a small kid can imagine the stories and behave accordingly but still the human vision system is not perfect in many situations like it suffers from the illusions what we have seen in the last few slides that a color perception intensity perception and finding that highest point it is very difficult for the human vision system to analyze the data it also ignores many details and perhaps that will lead to inefficiency also human vision system is ambiguous in describing of the whole world and it doesn't care about accuracy of the world on the contrary the computer vision systems they are good at analyzing the illusions they are very perfect in grabbing every minute detail it provides correct description of the world and the accuracy is up to the mark so let's understand what is computer vision system it is based on three principles number 1 is inverse optics number 2 intelligent interpretation of imagery and number 3 building a visual cortex inverse optics is similar to the human eye like our human eye perceives every image in a reverse way and understands it and analyzes it then intelligently every thread of the data is tied up and based on that a visual cortex is built and a scene is interpreted S on a similar threads a computer vision system is relied If you see the components of computer vision system, it has a camera which takes in the data, the image or the video in the presence of lighting. Lighting is very essential, which will significantly determine the accuracy of computer vision system and the easiness in a system. The object is to be detected or recognized or analyzed, and a given image is sent to a computing machine computing machine has a combination of hardware and software and a suitable algorithm is designed developed and tested to carry out a certain action the action can be detection of the object classification of object tracking of the object or analyzing the object or see so a computer vision system takes in either image or video to perform such actions and this slide shows us that what we can see it's a image what we can perceive it's a combination of different intensities gray and maybe there are many levels of intensities but what a computer sees it just the binary values either ones and zeros so it just understands numbers so any computer vision system if it tries to work on any data we have to convert that incoming data into mere numbers and we can crunch it as per our convenience to carry out a certain action so thank you friends that's a first session which talks about how a computer vision system is compared with the human vision system what are the limitations of computer vision system and how we can compare both and you know why it is required thank you